Basically, it's a test, it's an acronym standing for Assessment for Readiness for College and Careers. And it's a test that's now being given beginning in the fourth grade through the 11th grade. I think this is an example, sadly, of rolling something out too quickly, not getting any input of parents, teachers, professionals before it was rolled out. And there's just so much confusion about the test, lack of trust as to what the results of the test are going to be used for. And really, at this particular point, for lack of a better expression, it's become a runaway train. Obviously, we are trying to, as a state, and we should be, trying to assess our children's readiness for college and careers as compared with other states. So the goal is good, but the, the implementation has been really awful. First of all, there's a huge issue concerning the technology turnover because the test is taken on computer. Most districts are not up to the standards required to take the test. The kids are confused even how to use the computers, the scrolling down. I've heard all of those particular issues, but I think that issue is addressable just simply by taking the test. Over time, that issue will resolve itself. The nature of the questions, they are confusing. I've taken a test myself, the methodology in which they require the kids to use to reach the appropriate answer. And then there is the time in class that is taken up. I mean, the test is administered twice, and there is an awful lot of concern about, quote unquote, working towards the test results, which is not healthy. I am not anti-standardized tests, and I think that's important for everyone to realize. We have to have some kind of benchmarks upon which we can gauge our children. The purpose of today's hearings, we have two bills. One which will allow parents to opt out if they feel strongly that their children should not be taking the test. And the second is to delay implementation of the results of the test for three years. So we would administer the test for three years, but during that period of time, it would really be a pilot program to see what's right about it, what's wrong about it, and to deal with the issues so then it can be a reliable gauge. So really, it's just, in my mind, imperative that we take a time out, let's put everybody back on the same page, because if we have lack of trust in our educational process, then we have a real challenge to our entire democracy, in my mind. So during my time in Trenton, this is as important an issue as I have seen.